beer from Dirt Bike ADV on the Anna Branch River, just west of Wentworth. So yeah, just sort of got through Mildura, camped a night on the way up here, bit of a beeline up to Mildura, onto Wentworth and just uh, fueled up there and got some groceries and whatnot. And um, just headed out of town and where I was headed, all the roads are closed. So yeah, so I've just pulled up here onto the Anna Branch um, uh, River and so yeah, we're just going to camp the night here. Beautiful spot, river's nice and green. There's been a bit of flush for rain here up in the last week so it's sort of like um, everything's uh, a little bit damp but uh, only just a little bit now. We've been two, two or three days of dryness now so yeah. But we'll camp here the night. I'm actually in the camp at a reasonable hour for a change which is nice. What happens when you go by yourself? You just cruise along and you set up camp when you feel like it. So yeah, very pleased. Actually got a fishing rod with me. I'm going to flick a line and bought a bit of cheese. See if we can catch something on a bit of cheese, or I'll dig, dig up and grub up some grubs or some worms, and maybe put that on hook and see how it go. But plenty of time. I've already organised a bit of firewood. I'll get the tent set up after this can. We'll start thinking about doing a bit of fishing. Life's good. The end of another day. Beautiful part of the world. Got the rod in. A couple of Canadian clubs under the belt. Tent set up. Apparently tea served in about half an hour. Mighty beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Cracking spot. So this is what's been stealing my bait. Bloody carp. Never mind. I'll dispatch this one. That's one less carp in the river. But they've certainly bred up over the wet spring last year and all the floods. So, hmm. Never mind. That's one less carp in the river system. So this is the Rufus River Road. A few goats here now. <laughs> not sure if that's the Murray there. Really not sure. No, it doesn't look like it. Um, that might be a Rufus River maybe. Um, but yeah, it's really interesting. It's um, obviously been a whisker wet. You can see some darker patches there in the middle, but some people who have been driving it haven't chewed it up too much. But um, yeah, it's all open through here and obviously I'm, I'm actually producing a bit of dust so it's dried out enough that I'm confident enough to keep going. So we'll head through to Lake Victoria, uh, go past Lake Victoria hopefully and um, uh, just swing north and uh, head up towards Burncary uh, and uh, Benindi as planned. So I'm quite excited, I thought this all might be um, uh, Wet as a shag and sloppy, and but no, it's, it's actually they didn't have that much room. But yeah, this is what I call the start of the station country out here. If you look at the paddocks, they're bloody a thousand acres each paddock, you know, and uh, there ain't much out here, and the roads are dead straight, and the roads are wide, and yeah, it's bloody beautiful out here, blowing. So yeah, just uh, borders that way a couple of k's. South Australia borders ahead of us about another oh, 60 k's probably I'd say, roughly, maybe a little bit more. Um, but yeah, we'll swing north just before the border and head up through some more of the station country. But 
yeah, very nice riding. A little bit damp here, obviously. Very, very cool. Man, there's some serious water infrastructure out here. Wow. I think they have water catchments areas out here where they uh, put check banks around a, a swamp area, collect the water and divert it into lakes and whatnot. So, yeah. There we go. All the information I need. Wow. Lake Victoria. This is one of the things I come to see. I always have a little list of things I wanted to see, and Lake Victoria is one of them. Pine Camp Road. I think that's where I was going to head, actually. Uh, I think from memory. That goes back onto the main road I was just on. Rufus River Road. Up there. There we are. Yeah, so either Pine Camp Road... And cut up to the Silver City Highway. Look at the amount of triplets, bloody hell. Stay that side, love, stay that side. Oh, why did you come across all? <laughs> Nearly got a lammy. Mind you, we could have cooked him up. I would have camped the night, cooked him up. <laughs> Waste not, want not. goats <laughs> we're off into the goat country now some of them are big suckers Sheeps and goats. There are cows and horses and sheeps and pigs. 
They were tired of the daily routine Having themselves a great big bash They were gathering speed And every goddamn one of their tails was a wagon What the fuck happened there? me about an hour to <laughs> get that bloody sleeping bag nylon and duck down there was a duck down everywhere from out around the back wheel got that we've gone back got the tent and found my mattress so I lost a sleeping bag in the process so yes not ideal but anyway we're back on track I only had to go back probably 10 or 15 k's to get uh, to get my um, sleep uh, mattress and tent so not a total disaster and no damage done to the bike so i'm still going ah but there you go not a, uh, not turning out to be a big fan of the reckless 80 not at all i'm uh, yeah not impressed So yeah, not impressed with the Moscow Rackless 40. It'll be on the market when I get home. Not the least bit impressed. I'll keep the tank bag, that's good. Right, now we're starting to push the fuel a little bit. So, a bit of a beeline. A bit of a beeline to either Pukeri or Menindi. Don't get me wrong, got plenty of fuel. But it's nice to get to places with a little bit of reserve. There's all manner of beasts on this road. the Silver City Highway. Oh yes it is, there we go. There we go. We might just pull up here and road grip I think. <laughs> First bit of tire for a couple hundred k's. Have a look. As 
funny where life leads you, isn't it? <laughs> well, I sort of thought, you know what, I was on the highway, rather than turn off and go across to Menindee, I'll um, keep going up to Broken Hill and see if I can get myself a new sleeping bag. Uh-oh. <coughs> the old one has been, <sighs> what shall we say, <sighs> sacrifice to the gods. So yeah. Well, like I said before, if you said I was going to end up in Broken Hill at the start of the day, I would have said what? Got me really came a hut sleeping bag. By the way, people came out have really cheap, good quality dry bags. Bought a dry bag to put it in. Absolute little rippers they are. I've got a few of them. So yeah, just bought a a four degrees um, sleeping bag. Obviously, it's just a cheap one. It's a bit bigger. It's not certainly not down. <laughs> and um, a dry bag for it to go in. So we're away again. Let's go back to our original plan and head to Menendi now. <laughs> There's a couple of things I wanted to see in this trip. Menindee was one of them, Pernkeri was another. Lake Victoria and Mungo National Park. So far we've only kicked off one. So we've got a fair bit to do yet. So yeah, we've only ticked off Lake Victoria so far. But hopefully we'll have Menindi ticked off tonight. It's right on the Darling River. Looks like there's a good caravan park. I think I'm going to caravan park it. Pub it for a meal. And uh, see how I go for time. Might even drop a line in. I think this is the way we go. So yeah. Quick little tour of Broken Hill. Great spectacle up on top of the Muller Keep there. Uh, if you want to um, uh, learn all about the mining history, you've got there and see that. We're not going to do that today. I'm going to be like to Menindee now. But yeah, Broken Hills, a town well worth visiting. Well worth visiting. go through this main street just for the sake of it so we've come all this way some very big pubs we are well worth seeing that great view up there too we'll go down the main street gee you can see there was a lot of money here at one stage certainly looks like a lovely neat town still but miners are renowned for get out mate Miners are renowned for uh, spending their money quicker than they can make it. So I'm tipping there was a bit of money blown in some of these pubs. Jeez, I'm waffling on, aren't I? That's my specialty. That's what it says there, waffles. It's not because I like ice cream waffles. It's because I waffle on. Anyway, we've come to Broken Hill, we've achieved what we wanted to achieve, got a sleeping bag, so we'll move on. Four sixteen and 110 k's to Menendi, so we'll probably just make it by five. Or a bit after four.
see the start of the lights here. I think there's an area called Sunset Strip before Menendi, I think, from memory. Look at the grass on the side of the road, that's amazing. I think that's the lake over there. Oh yeah, speed limit signs. Is the sunset strip? Must be a caravan park or something. Kinchiga, Kinchiga. Oh, right -o. Let's find the caravan park, then the pub. The rub a dub dub. Well, this is not the inside of my tent, and there's no campfire tonight. Bit of an interesting day, really. <laughs> so, after flying up all the way up to Broken Hill to go sleeping back, I thought. Um, probably won't be able to get one in Mid India, and I was right. And thinking there's going to be a nice caravan park or a campsite on the on the lake. And uh, so I beelined it from Broken Hill pretty quickly, got my sleeping bag, and beelined it down here, only to find the caravan park on the uh, lake is closed, or the one near town anyway. It's dark now. I wasn't going to go find another caravan park, so I just decided to stay in the pub. Got an interesting old room here. I'd say it's probably from the 1800s. Still got floorboard doors and old coat hooks, and uh, yeah, but it's better than nothing at all, I can tell you. So I've made myself a cup of tea. I'm gonna have a shower in a minute, and there's um, meal start at 6:30 in about half an hour. So um, yeah, that's what I wanted tonight: a shower and a nice pub pub meal. So. Well, the fact that I'm not going to set the tent up is not a disaster. Room only cost me 60 bucks, but um, no. nonetheless, a very interesting day. <laughs> I'm down one sleeping bag. Uh, I've had to turn around because of the sleeping bag. I ended up probably going back 20 k's all up when I thought about it. And uh, yeah, that sort of made it a bit touch and go getting getting to um, either Menindi here or um, getting on to. to um, Broken Hill, but got there in the end, so it was all good. But uh, yeah, quickly grabbed the sleeping bag and turned around and headed out here, but all to no avail. But anyway, that's the way we roll. That's all part of the adventure, as I say. So I'm going to have a shower now and um, hopefully have a nice parma in a pot and a couple of painkillers. Tuck myself away in a nice little bed here and uh, dream about tomorrow's adventures. The Maiden Hotel in Menindi. 60 bucks for a room. I guess the GoPro. 60 bucks for a room. Um, yeah, pretty good feeds. Nice beer. He obviously was here cleaning the lines out this morning, so um, yeah. Bloody, uh, pretty good value. She, I didn't last that long, to be honest, but um, uh, other than that, a bit of a lumpy bed. For 60 bucks, you probably can't complain. No hotel across the road if you want to go for that. Yeah. Anyway, we're going to keep going. All promising. Cafe open. Cool, cool.
as is tradition with Dirt Bike ADV. We'll see if we can get a coffee and a ham, uh, a um, egg and bacon sandwich chain. We'll see what they got. Coffee would be nice anyway. Right, eh? So just had a egg and bacon sandwich and a beautiful coffee at the corner store in Menendi and just heading out to have a look at the lake. So the lake's on the right hand side. We're just going to head out and have a look at the old Kachiga station. We'll do the lake drive, I think, if it's not closed. Oh, beautiful. Look at this. There's like an indie. Cool, cool. So I just got absolutely lost out here in the Conchuga National Park. This was an old um, sheep station and uh, yeah, it was absolutely beautiful. Ground range from, you know, beautiful red sandy sort of soil to uh, sort of grey silty clay sort of stuff and yeah, just a huge variance of ground. Lots of uh, kangaroos, lots of emus and uh, yeah, it was fantastic. Checked out a few camp spots for future reference and uh, yeah, just generally got lost out here. So absolutely enjoyed a couple of hours just sort of wandering around. Ended up at the old Kinchiga shearing shed and uh, a lot of history there and a fascinating, um, some fascinating numbers with uh, the, the amount of sheep they used to shear and uh, you know the areas they used to control. So a very nice little morning spent, uh, spent very well. So the Kinchiga shed actually had 62 stands and in the last shearing run they shore 72,800 sheep and at its peak they had under their control or under their lease 800,000 hectares of land between here and Broken Hill. Man that's a big farm isn't it? But uh, yeah it's all National Park the Kinchiga section now so yeah a lot of it's still farmed but um, yeah fascinating stuff. A lot of history here, a lot of good information boards well worth a visit but anyway we'll keep moving i'm going to be wary of these box shooks they're just as likely to dart out in front of you stacks of them here more out there so that was the wall shed that was fascinating man what a big wall shed 62 stand wool shed. Wow, that's amazing. Eight. I've been driving along the road wondering what the hell all this service road was but that's what they do obviously as they do the other road up they um have a service road built temporarily but obviously this has got chewed up since they had the rain last week it's all pretty hard packed now Track. 
fairly famous race uh, race meeting they have there. Not sure how often they do it. Heard all about it. Gun club and an errand and the racing club. All my cons at uh, Burn Carey. There's the pub. Post office. Service station. Well, in sunny Coon Carey now. I've um, just been down to the uh, Old Wharf Cafe, had a beautiful uh, uh, German chai tea, so to speak. So just decision time now, just sort of sitting here. Uh, there's one more thing on my bucket list to do on this trip, and that is the uh, Mungo National Park. Unfortunately, a lot of the roads are actually closed up here, so I was going to go from Mungo up towards Ivanhoe and then down through... Um, hay but uh, I think I'm going to have to skip that section there's a lot of unknowns about some of those roads are, are heading towards across Ivanhoe so I think I'm going to um, duck down south and sort of like um, just cut across to the Mungo and then duck, drop into the back of uh, Battle Ronald at this stage uh, I think that's going to be uh, the plan um, and then from tomorrow uh, I sort of have to head home so I'm starting to head in the home direction but yeah if you have a look at this map we basically started the trip officially in sort of the Mildura area. We went out around the back of Victoria, Lake Victoria, up through the Rufus River Road and Springwood Road, come out here, travelled north up through Coomba, and uh, it was there that I decided I'd, uh, obviously I'd chewed my sleeping bag out over here on the Rufus River Road. And it was there I sort of got up to Coomba and thought, right, what am I going to do here? Got up to the back wheel uh, turn off there and just went, you know what, I need a sleeping bag tonight. If I can't get accommodation or something goes wrong or I blow a tyre or something like that, I'm going to have no sleeping bag. So instead of cutting across here to Min India, I ended up beelining it up to Broken Hill and then quickly fueling up, grabbing a sleeping bag and cutting across here to Min India. As it was, I didn't need the, the sleeping bag. Um, the um, um, caravan park where I wanted to camp down on the lake was all closed up so um, I was either head right out of town or just stay in a pub so I stayed in the Maiden Hotel so that's all sort of roughly gone to plan except I was going to cut across through here I've gone up through Broken Hill so now we'll come down here to Poon Gary and the plan was to go across into the Mungo National Park and cut, cut my way back up to Ivanhoe back down through Hay and into New York and sort of be camping in this area somewhere tonight and then um, basically beeline it from home to, from there but I think I'll just head down south a little bit cut across to the lower half of the Mungo and drop into the back of Barrel Rental and then I'll, uh, I'll probably just uh, I'll, I'll see how I'm going but probably just come along the Billabong and camp along the Billabong Creek somewhere here and drop into New in the morning and beeline it from there so yeah, a little bit of a change of plan, but overall not too bad, I don't think. I think, I, I think um, I'll think i achieve my main things. I really want to go out into this plains um, sort of station country out to the west here, which I did, and um, I've never been to Benindi, never been to Pernkeri. So, yeah, we tick off Mungo National Park. I'm a pretty happy camper. So, I think that's what we're going to do now. So, yeah, with a bit of luck, we'll get into somewhere to camp tonight with... Um, where there's a bit of a river, I can drop a line in again and uh, we'll go from there. Anyway, we'll keep moving as the wind fluffs things out. Out to Mungo National Park. Just head down this way to the old Shearer set, and uh, yeah, fascinating. Apparently, a lot of lo lakes here that are now dried up, but Aboriginals have been here for, for 45,000 years. That's freaking amazing. Some of the oldest modern humans <laughs> recorded, like Africa or something. Yeah, interesting. I think this is the, uh, oh jeepers creepers The 
visitor centre, we'll have a look down there. Walls of China picnic area. Oh yeah, there's the there's a very big lake, there's the shearing quarters and the shearing shed. Cool cool. That's a classic old shearing shed, if ever I've seen one. <laughs> Have a look at that. Wow. Look how short the roof sheets were back then. Apparently for a long time they only bought six foot and eight foot roof sheets out from England. The old um, galvanised corrugated iron. Yeah. Back in the day. Beautiful view. Lake Bungo, hey? Wow, another classic shearing shed, all cypress uh, posts, the whole lot, everything, oh, oh, oh. that's amazing, again as a carpenter, the mind boggles how much labour goes into building these places, wow, gaps in the floor to let the sheep droppings drop through, wow amazing, now Cypress bloody Murray Pine I should say, logs are still intact, that's amazing More presses Sharpening stone over in the corner there Impressive structures Wrong sort of tippet, I've heard that name before Activity they would have been back in the day, cheering time. Obviously, these kept going, each one of these is a stand, they would have kept going all the way along there. Very impressive structures. Imagine shearing sheep here in the middle of summer, be 50 degrees under that tin roof. <laughs> I knew how to work back then. Like Mungo in all its glory. And the sand dunes on the far side of the lake is where a lot of the um, remnants of the original past have been found. She was a big lake once upon a time. That's massive. It's unreal. Anyway, folks. Better start heading south. I'm finding somewhere to camp. As I said, uh, it'd be nice to get somewhere on a river. Drop down into the back of Barrel Reynold, I think, and um, sort of head west to, uh, sorry, head east to Millman. Maybe camp somewhere on the Millabong Creek or something like that. Flat. Very flat. If I might add, very, very 
very flat. Well, this is Bell Rattle. I don't think I'll be going too much further than this tonight. Got to run out of daylight. The headlights on this AJP aren't that good. <laughs> So I think we'll stop, get a couple of beers, might even camp in the caravan park maybe, I'll see. So that's enough riding for today folks. I'm just going to pull into the caravan park here I think. I think where it is. I think it's up here as you cross the bridge, I think from memory. Oh, 400 meter caravan park. Oh, beautiful. There's the Murrumbidgee River. Last time I was here, I was very in flood. <laughs> Oh, it looks like a nice caravan park. This will do me for the night. Be nice to have a fire, but beggars can't be choosers. So I had a few shells of rain last night. Just camped at the caravan park, as, I, as you know. And the bloody air mattress went down. It went tumbling off the bike there at one stage, so it's obviously got a hole. So not that good a night's sleep, really. That's alright. All part of the adventure. Went to the Discovery Centre for breakfast. Absolutely beautiful. So yeah, we're just going to head via where I was hoping to get to last night. Uh, and uh, from there we'll probably beeline it from home. I'd say. That's if the roads are open. With this little bit of drop of rain they might be closing even more roads. Don't know, but uh, yeah. 